Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video today. My name is Laura and I have some new to me Rosa Gallery watercolors that I will be sharing um, a Swatchapalooza session with you guys. Now the first minute and 10 seconds of the video following this one is going to be in time lapse and that's because I didn't realize the autofocus button was turned off so a little blurriness does occur. Um, it does look a, a little bit wonky, but I finally catch myself around the five or six minute mark. So from here on out, everything is in real time. And then these colors from here on out are all the colors I mix and blend with you. I give you the color recipes and they turn out beautiful. The lighting is obviously going to be much better because the video is already done and it's currently editing. I just have to add this one to it. And yeah, I wanted to do this part first with it all finished so you guys can see these gorgeous colors and um oh, i'm just so happy i was going to be filing for a refund tomorrow and then i got that etsy notification out for delivery it's been over a month that i had ordered them but it's not the seller's fault i didn't get any information regarding the order <laughs> And that time, and I was getting nervous. I thought, is my package floating in the Atlantic somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> but she did try her best to look um, into it for me. And I'm just so glad that I got the colors. So thank you, thank you, thank you. They come straight from the Ukraine and only $6.50 for shipping from the Ukraine to the U.S. I mean, that's amazing. And all the colors are available. So I'm going to go ahead and hand you guys over and... Thank you for watching. If you do, I'll see you during the week for card number three. Look at me getting all, getting all fancy here. Gotten the setup here. But, um, okay, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye. Hey everyone, happy Sunday. So I went ahead and decided to do a quick time lapse for the first part here because I did not press the auto focus lock button, which means that when I do begin to swatch out the colors, the first four or five colors might be a little bit out of focus. So just sorry about that. <laughs> Using the medium seven by 10 paper and I'm going to begin with, uh, let's see, matter red, yep. PR 177 and PR 264, truly so beautiful. This next color is really bright. It's called Flame Red PO73. And I know it's a pigment orange color, but still it's staying with the reds. It's just gorgeous. Wait till you see how I use it in a mixture. And then we have here Bright Red PO73 and PR254, another beautiful, deep, rich, opaque red. I'm just loving these opaque colors. Oh my gosh, you guys, this next color right here, Ariolan, hope I'm saying that right, PY150, that's it, single pigment color, it is gorgeous and oh, I can't wait to use it, so let's go ahead and move on in real time now. Okay, just as I suspected, the autofocus lock wasn't on, which meant that some of the movements as I, you know, was swatching might have been a bit wonky in and out of focus there, but I'm thinking it looks okay because I did stop the video and I looked and I think we should be okay. If by chance I decide to do a time lapse for these first four colors being swatched and then continue from here on out in real time, then obviously you'll see that. But if not, let's just go ahead and keep moving forward. All right, so, oh my gosh, this next color, Jade Green. This is part of the granulating watercolors and one of the colors I tried to dupe a couple of videos ago, doing my own versions of these colors because I didn't have them at the time. And so, yeah, I'm so glad that I purchased <laughs> the real deal, this gorgeous jade green. Oh my gosh, the separation, the immediate separation that you see as you continue to add water. It's just so magical, so beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. You can see the movement of the pigments as my brush goes up and down. Oh, jade green. And that is, by the way, several pigments. Yep, PB28, PBK7, and PY42. Let me grab my towel here. So the next color is this magical PG8 green. Look at that. It is 
gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It's like painting with silk. I don't even know how else to describe it. These colors just do all the talking. <laughs> no words. Isn't that amazing? I just placed the focus of my cell phone camera to be directly over this color so you guys can see. Okay, so I purposely wanted these two greens to be together. So this is the gallery, PG-8, and then this is the studio, PG-8. This color comes with that 24 set. And this is what made me fall in love with this green. Absolutely stunning. They both are remaining on my everyday palette because it's just, wow. But you can see, obviously, the gallery version is much more pigmented, although I see a lot more granulation or separation in the studio version. They're both beautifully valuable <laughs> and deserve to be gushed on because yeah they're amazing all right so that's that <laughs> they're both wonderful all right so the next few colors are all about oh no i got one more i could put mortem <laughs> this would be uh in the purples i think it's just a pr 101 okay i brought you guys up just a bit so, yep, could put more down. I didn't purchase any blues this time around either because I have a good amount of the gallery version blues. All right, so this is a beautiful purple leaning could put more down. And again, it's PR 101. all I gotta say actually I'm gonna be saying wow <laughs> you might just to at this next color is called matter brown and matter brown is a PR 101 and PR 264 oh boy this color you guys look at that that is just absolutely stunning It just moves with you. Oh my goodness. The next one is Maroon Brown. This is another one from the granulating set. I was equally happy with my version of this too, but mm, PBR25 and PB23, so easily, you know, easily mixable on your own, but why bother when you can have this gorgeous, luscious color? That should be swatch, out, swatch art right there. It's not stunning. I'm using a Hobby Lobby's Brand Masters Touch Size 10, by the way. Don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but yeah, that's my set in the background. If you guys don't mind. That is just stunning.
Hey everyone, apologies about the interruption there. We're all set now, and I also swatched out, without recording, <laughs> the Mars Brown. It's a PY42, PR101, and PBK7. Yeah, this actually is a really good mixing brown right here. A lot more uh, stronger as far as, you know, uh, value here, color payoff compared to the other Mars Brown that I have, which barely registers on paper, which, yeah, I like this one much better. <laughs> All right, so uh, the last brown that we have here is called Royal Brown, and this beauty of a brown is your PBR25. And I am just so happy that I have all these rich browns to use and mix with in another line. The most complete line of watercolors that I have that includes most of these colors are Renaissance Polska. And this PBR 20 in Renaissance Polska is known as Polish Brown but this is Royal Brown and it's much more red leaning and it's beautiful so I could only imagine what type of deep purplish tones I'm going to get when I mix it with blues that's what I think about when I see colors like this. What blues can I get? Or if I am looking at yellows, you know, what greens can I get? Because that's the color I have the most of is a blue. Well, now red, because I have a lot of reds now. All right, so uh, moving on to black. Let's see, black green. So I have black grape. That's also another gallery color. But this black green is just... My goodness, it's PB15, PG7, and PBK7. It's beautiful. And I know that you can easily mix this on your own. I was just curious and curiosity is definitely satisfied. It's just beautiful. Hope this tape pulls through. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can just go down the middle here so you guys can see some of that green. PG7 undertone, but yeah, I'm sure you'll see it once I do the peel reveal. It's beautiful. Uh, cobalt gray, another color that I mixed and blend, and I think I did a pretty good job at getting close to what I'm going to be seeing here because, like I said, I already did a quick swatch yesterday. Um, yeah, this uh, cobalt gray is PB28, PR108, and PBK7. However, I wasn't able to get that gorgeous granulation effect because, you know, I'm sure they have their own recipe over there. But I looked at some of the colors, you know, the colors that I mixed with those pumpkin illustrations and this was by far the closest. And it's beautiful. I'm so glad that I got it. It's a convenience mixture that I, mm, yeah, it's good stuff. No more, no less. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then the last color that I got is warm gray. And this is a PW6. PR254 and PBK7. And this is so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can see that red coming through right there. Gorgeous. 
I didn't even think that you can mix a gray like this. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some new water, some clean water, and we can do some mixing. I'm gonna bring out the other colors from the Rosa Gallery line, Rosa Studio line to, to mix. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, this is how the colors are drying up in natural daylight, and you can see the gorgeous extreme, extreme, oh boy, extreme granulation. I'm just gonna keep on going. <laughs> this is how my other Rosa Studio colors look like and Rosa Gallery color looks like. I almost didn't wanna share this because they look kind of funky, but don't mistake the way they look for how they behave on paper and how they uh, how you can use them because they're amazing. Some of these colors are really weird. Um, I don't know if it's my water. Uh, maybe yours look the same. Either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some blues here. Okay, so for this mixing session here, I want you guys to keep in mind these are colors that I'm attracted to and I use a lot in my work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this area first just slightly, you know, I'm not going to completely douse it in color. I'm sorry, in water because I have all that color around there. All right, so really strange combination here with that PL73 flame red, and I mixed it with the turquoise uh, from the gallery. I'm sorry, from the studio set. And that would be a PB15 and PG7 mixture. So just look at the magic. <laughs> this is just wonderful. So pretty. This is how the color looks like. And it's a perfect mixture of both both colors equal turquoise and equal flame red and it's just absolutely beautiful and of course if you wanted to have a bit more you know of one color over the other then you would just add it you guys know that I swatch like I paint so that would be the first mixture right there the next color I'm mixing is a beautiful green and that would be with the Ariolan PY150 and the blue and Danthrin oh my gosh just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous a bit more areolan leaning and then right around here I'm going to clean off my brush slightly and bring in a bit more of the blue and danthrin which I believe is a PB60 and I'm going to begin to add that right around here and bring that down Isn't that just beautiful? Wow. You can see The yellow leaning green on top. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm really interested in 
the Royal Brown, which is that PBR 25. And let's see, traditional ultramarine, which is from the studio. I don't have an ultramarine in the gallery version. I might just have to do another another haul and wait until January. But that's fine because that'll be my after Christmas. My after Christmas gift to myself. So yeah, I think I might just do that. Ooh. Alright, so this is the ultramarine. Wow. Just look at that beautiful. I knew it was gonna give me a purple color because of how red leaning it is. So that's not even mixed all the way and it's giving me a gorgeous gorgeous purple that's beautiful then we just begin to mix in oh my gosh <laughs> let me just shut up and let you guys see the rest right <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm going in really lightly because I just, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Shouldn't surprise me though. Adding a bit more of the ultramarine in there to get a good, holy moly. Three different colors here. This is why I love swatching, taking my time to mix. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Let me bring in a little bit of water in here so I can see all the good stuff. Okay, this next beautiful purple-ish color, I'm mixing the cobalt turquoise with the matter red. It takes a bit for this color to get going, but I have a feeling we're going to see something really, really special along the lines of a gorgeous lavender. Again, these are the colors that I love to see in my work, so this is the perfect lavender shade right here, I think. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. And that cobalt turquoise color does granulate. I did take a piece of paper towel and clean up all of these edges here before I continued because if not, I would have a huge mess. I'm still a little nervous about the peel reveal, but that's all right. Got this beautiful, soft lavender. Look at that. And I do have the gallery lavender too, so that's beautiful. Let's go ahead and mix a bit more. Oh, this is just lovely. Look at that, you guys. And now I'm stuck on the same colors. <laughs> same colors. Can't help it. Can't help it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I want to end the last swatch here with uh, that matter brown, the PR101 and PR264. So sorry about the movement there. That's that beauty right there. 
and I need to see what this can do with a deeper a deeper blue so I think I'm going to go back to the indentron begin to bring in more of the blue. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a blessing it is to have. Wow, and I can get a nice... I just lost my wording there because it is a blessing to be able to do this. This is so healing. I have gotten emotional over these swatches before and this is definitely one of those times. These are just the colors that speak to me. And they're absolutely magical. I am in love. In love. Okay, so quick little bonus here. The Mars Brown, because I was very curious about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of that. just the blue that's all it is just blue and I believe this is a PB 15 uh, I'll have to double check I think it's the PB 15 4 it's the warmer leaning phthalo blue color that I picked up. Yep, this one's a bit more warmer towards the Mars Brown. Just by a little bit, not too much. that PY42 in there, so that's what I'm trying to bring out. It's a certain color I'm trying to get. I think I got it right here. This is just great for, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> just something about these beautiful darker neutrals. I don't know how else to describe them, but they are just Absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's the reason I got this color to mix with the different blues. Just gotta see something else. A moment here. Cerulean blue from the gallery line. 
I like a more PB35 cerulean blue, but this is PB36, so this will do. Yeah, that's good right there. Just a really browny green. <laughs> I love colors like this. Look at that. are just colors that speak to my heart <laughs> um, since we're doing the bonus round here and I have a few more spaces on my plate here I want to mix the green with the quinacridone gold and I also want to mix it with them um, with some of the blues too uh, probably nothing spectacular here, but yeah, all right, well, yeah, okay, <laughs> it's there, it's there, but I know that this green can do so much more when you mix it with the blues. And I'm going in for that blue lake. I believe Blue Lake is a PB15. Oh, Lord. Wow. That is gorgeous. Well, there you guys have it. Oh, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, that's not pretty. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> wow, you can see the PG-8 right here. What a difference. What a huge, huge difference. And I just got to find something out for myself. One more time with the PG-8. Running out of space here. I'm not going to say which red I'm mixing until I see. Oh gosh, I love these earthy browns. I so do. <laughs> I really, really do. This is the PG-8 with the flame red. So basically PG-8 with the PL-73. So I have a gorgeous luscious brown right there. And then this is just warming it up a bit more. What a gorgeous, gorgeous green. All right, you guys. That does it for the mixing and blending. Just pulling it out to the side here to see what we can get. Such nice, soft, soft neutrals. This was a lot of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and do the peel reveal as best as possible here. Hoping for the best here. I'm really surprised. I really thought I screwed this up as far as, you know, slathering on so much paint. So far, 
are so good. Wow. Very, very nice. Amazing. A little bit there, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. All right. There we have it. Just going to bring the colors up close. The lighting outside isn't all the best. Sorry, guys. My cell phone camera looks like it's wanting to act up a bit there. I'm trying to go nice and slow. Okay, so I can definitely see the difference now, obviously, between the Gallery PG-8 and the Studio PG-8. Massive, massive difference, but they're both equally amazing and valuable, and I just love all the mixes that I did here. I have a soft spot for these colors, and these are how the other extra bonus mixtures are looking. So really nice. Love that I can tone neutralize that green even more down but beautiful the granulating colors are just absolutely wonderful wow all right you guys thank you so much for stopping by if you watched the entire video or just a snippet i appreciate you thank you a little crooked there there we go <laughs> all right let me go ahead and take some pictures for the community tab and thumbnail and i'll see you during the week with card number three for the christmas series all right until soon bye bye